Well, it's finally time. I'm going to New Zealand. My first stop is in Auckland. 13 hours I spend on this plane. It's a long trip, but definitely worth it. My first stop is Sky Tower. It's 328 meters tall, tallest structure in the Southern Hemisphere. Some people bungee jump from here. I chose not to. This is the City of Sails. You'll see them on the left and Auckland Harbor. Moving on to the Northland, we find the cowrie trees. Cowrie trees you may have seen in the Lord of the Rings with the Lady of the Wood. This is a 1500 year old cowrie tree named Tane Mahuta, which in Maori means God of the Forest. There were a lot of these large trees, but they were deforested, and uh, this cowrie tree museum kind of shows what they were used for and just how much of them are gone now. Opononi Bay was a great place to stop and rest. It was just beautiful. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get to stay there very long, and we went over to Haruru Falls, and the Bay of Islands where it just poured down rain. Normally this is a beautiful spot to go to, but uh, not so much this particular day. Heading back to Auckland, I meet up with a friend of mine. He takes me to the town of Peora, which is where LMP started. It's kind of a lemony flavored beverage. It's not nearly as good as Mountain Dew, but quite nice anyways. Seems how they don't have Mountain Dew readily available in New Zealand, so uh, it was a good substitute. Afterwards, I went to some of the beaches where he usually goes surfing, but the weather wasn't quite warm enough for it this particular day. There's some good sights to be seen, and we had a good time. Coming up, you'll see One Tree Hill. One Tree Hill is kind of made famous by the U2 album. Uh, unfortunately, the tree was cut down and a monument was put up in its place. First stop leaving Auckland is Mount Eden Volcano. What happens when you take a dormant volcano, some tires and a match, and mix them together? That's what we call a Great April Fool's joke especially when one and a quarter million people decide they need to evacuate. This is per liter and not per gallon, so you can times that by four. To end the day, I went to the Tamaki Village, a Mori culture center, where they greeted us with a challenge called the Tewero. They offer a fern as a peace offering, and once you accept that peace offering, then you get to enter their village. Later they do a Waiata and Haka, which is a song and dance. After the song and dance is the Hangai dinner, which is cooked in an earthen oven. It was quite delicious. The next day we traveled from Rotorua to Lake Taupo. Lake Taupo is the largest lake in New Zealand and it's actually bigger than the whole country of Singapore. The 
first stop was the Wow Tapu Thermal Reserves. There's a lot of colored pools. If you've ever been to Yellowstone, it's kind of like that. There's a lot of geothermal activity in this area. This is Lady Knox Geezer, as they say there. It's activated every morning by dropping a bar of soap in the top of it. Somehow that uh, activates it. I'm not quite sure how. This is Hookah Falls. Hookah Falls has 200,000 liters of water that flows over it every second. Just massive amounts of water. next day I went down to Wellington, which is the capital of New Zealand and the second largest city. The X Games were supposed to be there that day, but they were canceled because it was too windy. I always thought that X stood for extreme, but apparently not. The next day was kind of an early morning. And to catch the ferry across Cook Strait to the South Island,